have, <clears throat> once you have your clay ready, you're going to need to get a wire tool, a loop tool, a ribbon tool, and a needle tool. Okay, and then you're probably going to have to have somebody help you with the first part of it because you're going to take your clay and <clears throat> use a wire tool to literally cut the whole thing right in half. Okay, now when you do this, look at the air bubbles inside of there. Um, you want to make sure that you don't have newspaper in here either because that's going to make your project blow up. Um, you're going to use a needle tool because how thick do the walls of your projects have to be? Not half inch. Mm -hmm. A quarter of an inch the, the, or the thickness of a pencil. So once you get it cut in half, you can't distort the outside edges of this. If you do, when you go to put it back together, is it going to fit? No. So you have to be really careful. So you're going to take a needle tool first and kind of trace a line carefully around the outside edge so you don't carve too far. Okay. This will help you have like a stopping point. So I go around once and then I go around again, making the line deeper. When you go around the second time, you see how I have my needle tool at an angle going in? Because if I angle it out, what am I gonna do? Cut through the outside. And then what do you have to do? You have to re-wedge it again, okay? So I'm gonna use my needle tool and start to cut this away. And then what you have to do is you have to hollow out this whole inside, okay, on both halves. So once you have that done, you can take a loop tool. You have to get all this dried clay off of here. They don't want to work very good. And then you're going to start to scoop this middle part out of here. And you can just make a pile and then all of your pieces that you have left at the end or all the pieces that you take out of the middle. If you make a pile on your slab mat, you can just take it and dump it in the bucket over there at the end of the class period. Then you have to keep hollowing this out until it's completely hollow. And then once you get where you can't use the loop tool anymore, because you're getting close to the edge, it'll start to pull the edge in, switch over to your ribbon tool and make sure you're using the round side, not the square side, so you don't dig through the edges of your um, pumpkin and you can use the ribbon tool then to get closer to the edges okay you just have to be careful that you don't change the outside shape so keep one hand on the outside to help with stability then once you have a whole bunch of this carved out at the end of the period to save this you have to stuff whatever hole you have full of damp newspaper otherwise it'll cave in okay so this whole pumpkin is stuffed solid with damp newspapers. All right, that's what holds the inside open and doesn't let it collapse. So you have to stuff it solid. And then you can put these in the bucket. And then you have to do the same thing on this side. Okay, anybody have any questions? All right.